in here! This is an announcement for the following students. Rising from Yuva Academy, Ms. Pryor would like to see you in Classroom 1-4. She has some important news to share with you regarding the terrestrial phenomenon. That's an odd thing to put over the general speaker. Just be like, Rising, come to this room. Alright, let's go. Oh. Well, I mean, we can make a couple stops along the way. Well, I think we can make a couple stops along the way. My old nemesis, Doug Dibidome. There you are, Rising. Just the person I was looking for. I heard the news. You're the new BB Lee champion, am I right? I admit it. I'm blown away. If I use this account, it's the best decision I've made recently. So, now that you've had some time to get comfortable here, how do you find Blueberry Academy? Are you having fun? Yeah, it's, it's okay. So, so, eh? I'm sure you made it so, so great, right? Anyway, there's a small thing I'd like to ask of you, Rising. You see, the whole canopy's become so much more lively and energetic since you came here. That got me thinking, maybe we should have even more people come visit from Paldea. Have them come as special coaches or something. You know a lot of people, right? You've got lots of friends and everything. I made, like, teachers from your school, gym leaders, that sort of thing. Oh, and any strong friends of yours are also welcome here. Uh... Okay... Well, already thinking about who you can call, huh? I knew you were the right one to ask. You can use the club computer to contact anyone you want to invite. Oh, but it'll cause BP. We need to pay for the trip as such. Here's something to get you started. Oh, so wait, I gotta pay for this? Why is this on my dime? I think I'll arrange for the special coaches to stay at the club room when they're not teaching. You should have a chat with them while they're here. Now they'll leave it to you. Enjoy! Mm -mm -mm. Still don't trust that man. Using the PC in the League Club room, you can invite your friends and acquaintances from the Paldea region to visit Blueberry Academy as special coaches who you can talk and battle with. You can have a max of two visitors over at a time. Um, call us- let's, well, let's give it a go! Okay, so we can invite any of the gym leaders. Well, okay, so I can only- I can only afford one. And I think we need to invite everyone's favorite man, every man, Larry. Hello, I am here on behalf of the Paldea Regions Pokemon League. It's a pleasure to be doing business with you. You see me fired up again today, Crispin. Well, yeah, I had a big hearty meal and everything. He grown boys do eat quite a lot, don't they? You bet, we're always hungry all the time. What, even right after you eat? That makes no sense, silly. Oh, but what does he want to talk to me about? Oh, well, uh, right, yeah, right. Well, I wanted to tell you, uh, see, maybe you and I could, you know. Uh, never mind, not today. I'll tell you another time. <laughs> ah, this again, honestly. Apparently we got a crush going on. Yo, champ. Gotta thank you again for conquering the BB League. All the tension here melted right away once we got a new champion. If I had my Draster Drunthers... My, if I had my Draster Druthers... Kieran, not Kieran and, and I'd be having fun battling again. Though we'd have patched things up by now, but I guess things aren't that simple. You know, just what they say, huh? Good quality in a reigning champion. Guess I ended up kind of using you to try to get what I wanted, huh? I mean, that was pretty obvious, yeah. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to. I just dropped the slacker life for once and got carried away. Anyway, I hope you'll accept my apology. No attitude. Just gratitude. My, to my Tyro loves this treadmill.
Well, all right. All right, anyway, sorry. Oh, hold on, Pikachu. Pikachu and I are doing our best to fight our way up the BB League. I think Pikachu's taking a bit of a nap right now. Oh, it's you. Calling me all the way out to another region. There's a certain chairwoman rubbing off on you. Know, actually, don't worry about it. To be honest, I don't mind these little business trips. I know I'm here for work, but I might as well enjoy myself while I'm at it. Speaking of which, I've heard that Unova has two particularly famous dishes. Berry sandwiches and Calas Castilia cones. Which one appeals to you more? Well, a berry sandwich sounds weird, so I guess the cones... Ah, I see. I suppose you must have a sweet tooth. Well, thanks for the input. Once I'm done with my lecture, I'll step out and eat my fill. I guess I can't battle him after all? Oh, never mind. You have a certain look. The look that says you want to battle me. Yeah, we'll give you a, we'll give you a fight, Larry. I'm technically off the clock now, but fine. Let's have a battle. I have no idea what level he's going to be. We are moving up in the world, aren't we? Flamingo. I'm gonna switch Pokemon anyway, if nothing else, just because of, um... Defense being lowered. I don't think inherently weak to flying, but let's go burb versus burb. A good choice here. Um, all right. <laughs> Poor Larry. Poros. I mean, that's just straight normal, right? Just stay like this. special attack anyway. Shouldn't in one hit, but yeah. I guess my code does switch to Miss Magia since this thing is purely normal. Might not have had anything to really hit me with. But that's fine. The Dun Sparse. I don't remember that thing's still parked around or not. I don't know. I mean, it's hard that he's the, the um, experience anyway. Oh, it's a very scaly. Very scaly to done spores. Hey, the cherry berry. I'll be able to get it another cherry bear if I got one. Altaria. Dragon? I think Altaria is dragon. Sturdy? 
No, it's just a lucky, lucky thing. Fairy move versus fairy moves, but in the end, I've got it. He's gonna tear out whatever his last Pokemon is here. Star Raptor. We got payback also. Power gem. Let's give it a try. I'll see this battle through to the end. Unless that means I have to work overtime. Well, you're off the clock, so I suppose this technically is overtime anyway. There's nothing wrong with plain and simple. Let's keep let's keep things normal. That was my bad. Go Verge! Maybe if it Brave Birds one more time, it'll just end up killing itself, which would be pretty hilarious, but I don't know if the game will let it do that. Close combat instead. But I'm part ghost, baby! It is gonna kill itself. Okay. I hit it once, and the rest of the damage came from its own brave birds. Good job there, you're worse trainer than I thought. Well, I've had my fill. Just under 20k for being up a um, washed up old man. Impressive skills. You just keep getting stronger, don't you? I imagine you worked up a sweat. Here, take these. Salty Herb Mystica. Sweet. One of the condiments spoken of as legends, its mellow saltiness is said to be tremendously effective when it comes to promoting health. It's important to replenish your minerals. I assume I can't battle him again. The boss contacted me the other day. She said you'd give him my name when asked about your favorite gym leader. Oh yeah, that's right! I really don't understand your choice. Would you pick an Why would you pick an average Joe like me? Maybe you're overworked and it's affecting your judgment. I know a good park where you could go online if that's the case. Aw, oh, Larry. I admit, I think I did a good job coming up with Medali's gym test. Having the challengers battle each other is a great way to build down their numbers. I think the real problem with the elite trial is that Hassel is, one is the one after me. Rika or Poppy would hear me just fine even if I didn't shout. I hope the Primera isn't giving you too much trouble. Take it from me, you need to say no to her if you don't want to do something, otherwise you'll run yourself into the ground. Okay, he had a lot to say! That was cool. Am I healed? I am even healed. Sweet. Alright, so yeah, that was a little distracting. Uh, but that's cool though. You guys are done with your talk. What happens now? Hey Ryzen, there's something I wanted to tell you. That magic against Kieran was totally at max heat. You were seriously cooking. I still can't believe what I saw. Kieran had been undefeated since he came back from Kitakami, but you floored him just like that. No matter the whole BB League's blazing with excitement now. But I've become champion, that means Kieran gets bumped down to being one of the Elite Four. So the weakest Elite Four members gotta move out of the room. Gotta move out to make room. Unfortunately, that means me! 
I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but those are the rules. Nothing you or I can do, really. Besides, League Club's back to the way it used to be. I prefer it this way. Well, thanks to you, Rising, so thank you. Straight from the chef's mouth, so to speak. Rising, welcome back. How was that trip you took with Kieran and the others? It was such a headache. Uh... Oh, I'm sure it was. Thank you for all the help you must have provided. You were investigating that huge crater in the Paladin region, weren't you? To think that you came here to study abroad, and then we sent you right back to Paldia. That wasn't very well done, was it? I guess not. Right, I knew you'd agree. That sort of thing just is not right. Sometimes the school's a bit too permissive about things. Which is why we all have a duty to say loud and clear when we think something isn't right. Okay. What's the Morris want? I guess she is the only one who is not hanging around this room. Or the, uh, club room. What is it? Rising. You have many- Rather, you have my thanks for all you have done to help the Lee Club. And to help Kieran. Once you become champion, Kieran withdrew himself entirely from a ranking system. Though I consider this somewhat sad, it's not as if he and I can no longer meet. More than anything, I'm glad he seems to be acting like his former self once more. Indeed, I've always been swept up in joy to such an extent that I've prepared a tremendous amount of flight-enabling supplements used in my trial. Please feed your, uh, your Aegeus an appropriate portion of it whenever you wish to fly. That's cool. What? You want to fly right now? Please slow down. The supplement was never meant to be eaten in such a large... Alright, I won't be able to fly now. It would seem your Aegeus has powered up somehow. From the looks of it, I would guess that it has gained the power to fly whenever you wish it to. Well, I suppose this is an acceptable outcome. As it happens, there is a super hard course for my flying time trial. You may attempt it upon clearing the hard course. So feel free to do so when you're ready. Marina can fly freely through the air if you press left stick while gliding. Marina will keep moving forward automatically while flying. If you press left again, it will go back to gliding. Okay. You gotta press the stick. Time for me to go. So long, then. Well, that's something that's handy to have, and that's pretty easy to miss, also. Alright, so there is something that I want to get now that I can fly. Oh dear. I want to go to the terrarium for one thing. Just one thing. Because I assume I have not done this yet since I couldn't fly. You see, this big lovely crystally thing that they told us about at the beginning? Well, now that we can fly, we can go poke at it. Because if I remember correctly, based on other things I've seen, there will be items up here. And I just want to grab these before I go and uh, continue the story, of it, or what's left of it. I assume there's not much left to do. Hold on. Stellar shards. Ability patch. Saves a regular ability of a Pokemon to a rarer ability. That's cool. Gold bottle cap. You wear the silver bottle cap. I guess that might be it. I mean, I must say that's not bad. 
It might be as high as I can go though. I don't think there's anything like up there. Yeah, it just kind of ends. Well, that's fine too. They've really made this like a huge place. Especially for a game you think we wouldn't be able to handle this after everything else we've seen. Alright, I think with that said, that's... Yeah. Nobody else to talk to. Let's go see Miss Briar. Like a half hour later. But it's fine. Hey, Rising. Glad to see you. You feeling rested and recovered after our big adventure down in the Underdepths? No. It's been like 20 minutes. Really? I thought you'd be all chipper by now. Youth is on your side, after all. But on, but on to why I called you here. Since our return, I've been writing up everything we discovered on our expedition. Honestly, I've hardly slept. I obtained Gita's permission to turn it all into a book. But don't worry, I've made sure to skip a few details and omit the names of those involved. So voila! A proof copy of the book, freshly delivered from my publisher, just for you. Briar's book. Put it in the pocket. A proof copy of the exploration notes covering the Area Zero Underdepths. It's filled with long paragraphs describing what happened along with Briar's thoughts. I behaved recklessly in the Underdepths. I don't know what we would have done if it weren't for you. You truly deserve a copy of this book. I just hope it's sufficient as an apology. Uh, but there was something else I need to check with you. Would you mind showing me your tarot orb rising? Hmm, I thought as much. It's behaving just like uh, Kieran and Carmine's orbs. I think it might be your orbs who are directly exposed to the energy from Terrapagos. Kieran and Carmine say that ever since the Underdepths, they've been able to terrestrialize their Pokemon without charging their tarot orbs. Actually, there's one more piece of news I should share with you related to those deepest depths. You know the terrarium core that hangs from the ceiling of the terrarium? Well, until now, I've been keeping it topped with a mixture of Pokemon so- oh, excuse me. Well, instead, I've been keeping it topped up with a mixture of Paldean soil and water from the Crystal Pool in Kitakami. That's how we've been able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomena on our academy grounds. But the other day, I tried adding crystals I'd clicked from the other dips, the Nyx, and it causes the properties of the core to change. The result, Pokemon shining in rainbow colors have started appearing all over the terrarium. And they even have the stellar terror type. Thanks to this, my research into the terrestrial phenomenon is shining brighter than ever. Stellar type terrestrialization grants a boost to moves, but only once per move type. After you use a move, no other moves of that same type will get the boost. In terror raid battles, all of moves will be boosted without limit. Oh, and there was one last thing. A man in a blue suit was looking for you over by the entrance of the academy. That's all I have to report for now. Thanks for setting aside some time to chat. I'll also be a visit to my publisher, so I'll leave you to it. Next time we meet, I'll ask you for a good long look at Slapagos. Till then. Alright, so uh, she said sorry and gave us a book. And yeah, she is affecting the ecosystem because now stellar terror Pokemon are popping up. A man in the blue suit. Like, you don't know who this is. Oh, hey there, Raza. What brings you back up here? I could ask you the same. Me? Oh, I'm just enjoying the ocean breeze. Starting at the battle court, hoping for an interesting match to start up or something. By the way, how's that blueberry Pokedex of yours coming along? Show me once you filled it out a bit. Definitely come show you if you complete it. I'll be sure to shower you with praise. And I think that's it. Other than filling the Pokedex, and I'm sure like some little small things, that's kind of it. That's that. I have not completed everything, and I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to complete every Pokedex in all these places. Um, off stream, I did do the um, stakes, the stakes to the ground that revealed those other legendary Pokemon. So I've already done that. And here's one. Two, three. Oh wait, do I not have that fish? 
I thought I was done, but then I realized I still have one more thing I need to do, and it's not here. I gotta go back to Paldea. Alright, so let me elaborate a little more once I get to that destination I marked on the map. Alright, so the reason I'm here is because, which I kind of said a little bit in like the actual, my actual video about this game, uh, but scattered around, there are these stakes in the ground. There's four sets of them. And off stream, I already did three of these sets. But I wanted to save, I remember now, I wanted to save the last set to do recorded. So. So these ominous black states, these are the blue ones. I've already gotten the three other colors all done, and there's eight of each color. And I'm using a guide because these things are not the most easiest thing to find. Alright. And now that we can fly... Because, you know, that's like, that's <laughs> genuinely helpful for what I'm trying to do here. This hopefully won't go so long. Though I'll probably edit this heavily because as quick as it's going to be comparatively, it's still a bit of a tedious process, so... Just move along so we get to location two. Here we are. I think be cool. Alright, so location number three. Let's see. Looks like maybe like out here somewhere. Roughly. this a little early, but that ended up turning out for the best. Oh, that's just the tail of the conch crow. I thought there was, like, something shiny out here. like moving in like a bit of a perimeter here okay it looks like it's like on this like spit of land here all right on to number four i wonder if that's it right there coming up oh nope this is down here and another gimme cool This one's like right over here, near Lavincia. I think like up here. Okay, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> We're gonna not make this harder on ourselves. Cause there's a fly path literally right here, so... Why is hacking well? By a tree. So we'll just get a little higher. Ah! It's the same problem as having before with tree. Maybe it was the camera, maybe it was me. Oh, there it is, I see it. Alright, 
area six. Looks like it's up here somewhere. It's in this little ruins area, it looks like. Is there like a flight path that takes me anywhere near there? No, but this is our final destination right here. Alright, I guess we'll do another cut. I think we got like maybe like one or two more of these left. I think this one was hard a little to find, like to figure out on this map here. So if I'm like flipped around, take the picture. That's okay. There it is. Okay, one left. And it is where? Still around like this water area. Maybe right by the shrine? Well, I'll go there, I guess. You guys okay in there? Okay, so here's the shrine. But... Not quite what I'm looking for yet. I think it might be on top of it? Yep, there it is. Well, at least it was kind of it to bring, like, right here. Maybe the crumbling vanished. Her mysterious cry coming from the shrine. Alright, so unlike what I said with Terrapagos, um, I am gonna think use a Master Ball. I might as well. I mean, it's using a Master Ball, like, that climatic? Not really, but sometimes it'd be that way. I've had free items this whole time. Wow. Well, uh, when you acquire the DLC, you get some free stuff. Okay, a uh, new spring, summer, fall, winter uniforms, hat, backpack, gloves, socks, tights, loafers. Well, okay. Apparently I've been missing that this whole time. What does that look like? Lame. Less lame. Kind of less lame. Just kind of lame, yeah. Very lame. That's a better school hat, but uh. Leave without changing. I'm fine as I am. I just wanted to see. For real this time, let's check this thing out. A faint sound's coming from within the shrine. Will you touch the shrine? Yes. So this is what happened three other times. Just with different colored stakes. I think there were purple... 
black? Green, yellow, I don't know. Either way, we did the blue ones. And uh, this is what we get for it. I gotta try one quick ball. Just one. Chi you. I gotta try one quick ball. No, that's fine. No harm done. Alright, little fishy. It's time for you to come with me. You get the privilege of being in a master ball. I think I can count on two hands the amount of time I've used a Master Ball in my life. Dark Fire. The envy accumulated within curved beads that sparked multiple conflicts has clad itself in fire and become a Pokemon. Wow. It's a bit heavy for lore. And that's the four.